guys and welcome back to this new video two quick things before this video actually starts so number one is there's very little vlogging in this video and that is for one main reason and that's because i was way too excited to get back in the water so i totally forgot to record and vlog so i'm so sorry for that but i promise that next video there will be a whole lot more and i'm super pumped for it and number two as you guys can probably see and notice the videos are in English, something that we've never done because, well, I mean, the channel is Italian, so we've usually done videos in Italian with subtitles in English. But since I moved to Australia, I wanted to try something new and see how it goes. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did because it was a blast being out on the water and shooting this amazing fish. But yeah, enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep going, keep going. Tighten the drag, tighten the drag, tighten the drag. You go, you go. Keep going, keep going. You gotta get him up fast, you gotta get him up fast. Yeah! Come on, first nanny of the day, come on. No more fucking trevallies, you don't want to see them. Oh. Get fucking up. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got him, you got him, you got him. He's coming up, he's coming up. You got him. What? <laughs> so a quick explanation of what's happening here. So every time we go to the reef, before we get there, we always stop by this spot to do some deep dropping with the fishing rod. And this right here was my first drop and it was just lit up on the sounder. So these next few videos where I'm actually fishing are all on top of this spot. So we went trolling and we did some deep dropping and then we just shot it out to the reef. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy some fishing video too. Friends, first, first catch of the Great Barrier Reef. Woo! Backwards. Alrighty, uh, get him up, show, us, show the camera and then put him. Then, yeah, he's really long. Have a look at how long he is. All right, put him back in the water. Feed him more. to the sharks. Front Jack on the fish. Glenn on the fish. Sack, where's yours? I got all of them. <laughs> This moment's unreal. <laughs> Keep it all oh, small mouth or large mouth. So large mouth. Or small. Small. Show us a fish to the camera. Just one there. Oh, that's legal. Oh, the legal I think. No, that one's not. But that one is. Can you record with my phone? Yes. No, I'll, I'll airdrop you. In the dog. I wonder what it is, eh? Big barracuda. Yeah, hopefully it's a big one blistering run. Yeah, hopefully it's a big mat. Or maybe a GT. Could be Carl. It might be Carl, dude. Oh, Carl? It's pretty. He's hanging deep. I didn't know Carl. It's so weird how they're hanging. He's hanging deep though. Every time it. We'll use it some it's for bit, some that's for. That's oh, it's bro, it's, record, 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 it's record, record, record. huge! Oh it, my it. god! Oh. I want him. Yes! Fuck yes! It's so big. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Hey, look. As soon as I jump in the water, the first thing that I see was this massive moo patrolling the reef. Now, the problem with moo is that they're very shy fish. So the first thing that it did as soon as it saw me was go straight into a hole. The thing that you want to do when hunting moo is either not show yourself or not make your presence known. So what I did was dive all the way down to the bottom, which definitely helps 9 times out of 10. And I looked down, so I gave him no eye contact. As soon as I looked away from him, the first thing that he did was come towards me. I waited, what, 15 seconds, and I had him right in front of me, gave me a perfect broadside shot, and I drilled him.
on this dive, we actually decided to move away from the reef's edge and dive a little bit deeper, so we decided to dive onto the sand. So these sandy areas are actually found on the edges of reefs, and over there you guys can find some long-nosed emperors and spangled emperors, which, to be honest, are one of my favorite fish to hunt. As you guys can see from the video, I'm actually hiding behind the structure. I'm doing this because I saw there was a school of fish, spangled emperor to be exact, approaching me from my right. So I decided to take cover just in case they were going to come closer. As soon as I took cover, I noticed that they were actually inching closer towards me. So I decided to take aim and head for the bigger one. Unfortunately, the shot placement wasn't the best in this fish. So the first thing that the fish did was aim straight for the coral and get all tangled up in them. Fortunately, the fish was more tangled than I thought, so I decided to go back up and ask my buddy if he could help me. And we took turns to dive and untangle this fish. Thankfully, after a few dives, we managed to untangle the fish and get this nice tangled one. As I was heading back to the spot where I last saw the Spangled Emperors, all of a sudden a Golden Trevelli swoops under me, so I quickly turn on my GoPro and dive down on him. I quickly aim for mid-body and take a shot. That was the only thing that I could think of during that moment, and he gave me one hell of a fight. In this video, we actually changed spots totally, so this is a whole different reef, and we were spearfishing on a small drop-off that we found. While exploring it, we actually noticed that there was three nice chonky trouts, so what we decided to do is dive down on one of them, and I picked out the biggest one, which was actually staring at me, funnily enough, and I placed a beautiful shot on it. As most of you know, I'm sure, it's winter time in Australia, and for us spiros, that means pelagic time, so also Spanish mackerels. Right here in this video, we're actually using a flasher and some burly to make the Spanish come closer. Unfortunately, none of them came during the cycle, but a nice job fish stopped right in front of the flasher and stared at it, and I couldn't help myself diving down and tuning it. This, in my opinion, is one of the coolest videos that I've ever recorded. So what happened was, I was chasing a fish, and all of a sudden I see an eagle ray swim under me. And I see an extra tail under the eagle ray, which confused me, so I dive bombed it, and I see a cobia which was hiding under it. I'll let the video speak for itself, because it is just mind-blowing.
As many Spearers know, Cobias are very dirty and strong fighters. So the only thing that I could do is play it easy because I didn't know how good my shot was. So I didn't want it to tear out. Thankfully, my dive buddy Jay sees this situation and comes in for a double shot, which helps me a whole lot because it actually calms me down. Unfortunately, not so much for the fish because the fish goes crazy, but you can definitely see it's hurt. So shortly after, the fight's gonna end. This whole event was just mad for me. It is my second Kobe I ever shot, but the way that I shot it and how I shot it just made it 10 times better. And I'm so happy that I could share this catch with my friends. On the way back, the sea was just alive. There was everything. There was whales, bait, fish, tuna, dolphin. So we couldn't help ourselves but do some trolling. And here's some action. Enjoy it, guys. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you had a blast as much as I did making it and actually recording these videos. If you don't mind, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you next time. Safe dives!